What's good, my people? It's your boy, Mr. Little, back with another video. And today, I got a special guest for you all. Stay tuned. Tell the fly to a nanny with me. Take a ride, come and vibe on the water and see. Before I get to my special guest today, I want to thank all of you all for subscribing, all of my current and new subscribers. The channel's growing, the brand is growing, so I really want to thank y'all for your support. And make sure you guys also check out my Instagram, M-R-R-L-I-T-T-L-E, same as my YouTube. And like I said, I do have a special guest today. She is a multiple business owner. She is a big, big, big time YouTuber, and she's an exotic dancer. Let's bring her in. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's start with your name. I am Yamila. And let's start with your <laughs> intro. You okay, so intro. yeah, my intro is, hey guys, what's up? My name is Yamila, aka Yams, aka Yams is fun to get lit. Where you at though? Where are you guys at though? Where are you know. guys at though? <laughs> and where were you born and where were you raised? Born in Seattle, Washington, raised here. Mm -hmm. so. And you have a YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. How many subscribers do you have? Um, right now, I think I'm at 109,000 mm -hmm. subscribers. 109K. And how mm -hmm. long How long did it take you to, to amass that? Um, it's my second year now, mm -hmm. so two years. Was that your goal coming in to like get a big YouTube platform, get as big as you can get, turn it into a business? Was that was the big plan coming in? Um, I was really just doing YouTube for fun and then just being consistent and mm -hmm. then just seeing it grow, so. <laughs> well, you definitely have grown. Like you, you are big time, and I admire what you do. Thank you. I really do. So let's get into this exotic dancer stripper thing. Okay. How, how long have you been dancing? Um, now has been five years. Really? Surprisingly, yeah. Five years. I was just looking back at that too. Like, damn, I've, I've really been dancing for a minute. Right now. How, what's the dating life usually like for a stripper, right? So I know some obstacles there, right? The way society looks at exotic dancers. What are some, um, with the girls, the girls you work with and for you, what have been some like challenges with dating when it comes to stripping? I feel like as a dancer, we do go through troubles sometimes. It's just like any other person, like we're human too. We date people too. Mm -hmm. But with dating a stripper, you have to have like a lot of trust that comes into it and mm -hmm. It just takes a lot of knowing who your person is and it's just a lot of trust that goes into it. I don't know. It's very complicated. I've only been in one relationship. It was okay, but then again, we did have a lot of trust. I felt like the person that I was dating at the time, he was just insecure and he wasn't really mm -hmm. stepping on level with what I was trying to do. So it didn't end up working out, but I do know a lot of strippers that have been in relationship for years while stripping. Mm -hmm. There's been no problems. They start families. So mm -hmm. it really just depends who you're working with. Now you said insecurities. So for a guy, let's say he's looking to get into dating the strippers, what are some things he can expect? What are some things he has to be ready for if he's uh, have aspirations of dating a stripper? Well, if you're gonna date a stripper, you have to know that like this is like a sexual industry, a mm -hmm. sexual industry. For sure. So it's something that you just have to know, like we're exposing our body. We're here to show people a fantasy. It's not real, but it does come with a lot of like intimacy. <laughs> no, you good, you good, you good. So that's just like, you have to be prepared for it. Yeah. So is it a good idea for a guy to try to talk to a stripper in the club? Like try to get to know her, try to maybe develop some type of relationship. Is that a good place to do it? Well, I mean, you can if you want to, like. Mm -hmm. Would you recommend it? It doesn't, it honestly, it doesn't really matter. Some, it depends on the stripper. Every stripper is different. Every mm -hmm. stripper has different mentalities. Every stripper looks at everyone different. You could meet a really cool stripper that's just laid back and super chill, or you could meet the stripper that's straight up a finesse stripper who the cool you are. Right. Like, me as a dancer, I meet all types of people. Like I'll look at people that's just like straight, I'm gonna get all your money. Or I could look at some people like you, if you come in a club, like, oh, well, I think he's all chill, you know? Like, right. Everybody's different, so I would I recommend it? I mean, you can, you just have to play your cards right. <laughs> now, have you um, ever been interested in like, when you was in a strip club, someone you were dancing on or dancing with, or a man, have you ever like shot your shot in the club at a guy? Um, and if, if you have, why did you? And if you have it, why wouldn't you? I wouldn't necessarily say shoot my shot as in it depends what you mean like oh i really want to get on with him yeah, or like, like oh, i, I really want to date talk, him get to know him he seems cool yeah i mean i mean all types of people like old people crusty people young people <laughs> <He's so crusty. laughs> 
like young people, yeah. people that are my age. So honestly, I look at the circle kind of like a networking situation. I meet all types of people. Sometimes I do meet a lot of people that are super laid back, super cool. I meet people in the mu music industry. I meet people who are well connected with other people. So mm -hmm. sometimes I do keep in contact with people that I meet in the club because it's not just like straight up tricks where they're just like, right, you know, right, right. giving you money, but a lot of them can provide more than that, so. Of course. The million dollar question, I'm sure everyone wants to know is, what's the most amount of money you've made in one night stripping? Um, I think in one night, I'd say like three, four thousand. Three, four grand. Yeah. yeah. What'd you do with that? Did you like go out and blow it the next day? Did you no, <laughs> I, don't, I don't usually spend money like that. I okay. feel like I'm very invested in my money. So when I first started stripping, yes, I was spending a lot of money. Of course. Louis Vuitton, designer, all of that. But it's like after you know that you can reach money, it's kind of like more of an investment for me. So mm -hmm. I didn't I didn't spend no money when I got the money. I just put it in my bank account, you know, tucked it away, mm -hmm. paid my bills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure you was good. Responsibility is good. But yeah, I'm not really a spender like that. I got yes. you. And um, your best piece of advice for any guy that's either in a relationship or looking to get in a relationship, what's the number one thing you would tell them before they date a stripper? Like the number one thing that they need to have if you if you want to have a successful relationship. Okay. Yeah. Um, you need to be secure with yourself. Okay. And you need to... Can you go into that just, just a tiny bit? Be secure with yourself, Lizzie. You... As in, like, know what you're about, you know, don't get in a relationship if you're not ready. Mm -hmm. Don't, you can't carry, because the biggest thing I feel like for a guy to do is strippers are insecure. Mm -hmm. And they just don't have any trust. Got you. So they think like, like you out there doing this and doing that. Yeah, so it's like, you know, guy. if you know what you are about, then you wouldn't even be tripping about any of that. And it's like, it. you have to build trust. But you're a stripper. Gotcha. So. I want to switch gears a little bit too, going back to YouTube. Someone getting into I'm a small YouTuber, mm -hmm. right? But someone who's getting into it, like my sister wants to get into YouTube. What are some things uh, starting out that they need to, to be aware of? Like maybe just a couple of tips and tricks that you can give them um, getting into the YouTube game. Um, one, be consistent. Mm. Two, stop letting, stop comparing yourself to other YouTubers. Like, I feel like people get super discouraged about making YouTube because this person has so many followers, subscribers, but stop comparing yourself, be consistent, and then also, um, when you say be consistent, what do you mean by be consistent? Like, is there a certain like post in regularly? Stop, stop overthinking everything, you know. Um, I feel like people don't post because they keep making excuses. Mm -hmm. They don't. They don't know what to film. It's just like once you just do your first video and do another video, mm -hmm. then that's when you you like be consistent because now you're getting more comfortable on camera. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, but I've just always been consistent. Sometimes I don't even post the best videos. My editing skills sometimes aren't a one either. Mm -hmm. But I just keep going, and I mean. I'm now, getting now up you're there, where you so. at, right, right, right. Yeah. Talk about um, some of like your business ventures, like some things you're doing now. Um, from YouTube, you, uh, I want to say you have eyelash, your eyelash brand. Mm -hmm. um, what's some other? Yeah, stuff? you re you introduced me like oh, multiple yeah. businesses, but <laughs> well, really, I just have my eyelash band, um business going on right now. Then just mm -hmm. my YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, and then you do something like hair too, like wigs and stuff like that. You work a lot. Yeah, of I, yeah, I did like a lot of wig wig collaborations with companies and stuff, but. Mm -hmm. That's basically it. I was just selling most of them on my Depop, Depop page because I don't really use wigs like that, so. Okay. Well, um, one, I want to thank you for coming on. I got one more question for you. What's What's the best piece of advice you can give any man who is about to cold approach a female? So in the club, on the street, whatever. He's never seen her before, doesn't know her, but he's interested in her. Before he goes up to her, what, what's the best advice you would give to him? Have some respect. Okay. I feel like <laughs> men do not know how to approach women, and that is the problem. Me, I'm very like self cautious on that because I get a lot of people that hit on me too just because I'm a stripper, mm -hmm. just because you know I'm out with my girls or something. They don't know how to approach me. Right. So to me, that's a problem. If you don't approach me right, I'm not gonna approach you right. So, and then, like, let's say you know someone is trying to approach me and they be like. Ooh, like you hella fun. Something. Damn that ass then, though. Right. <laughs> and then sometimes I just be like, oh, thanks. Now keep walking. And then yeah. they find it offensive. Oh, you don't want to stop by. You think you're too good. Like, yeah. Just, just talk to learn me, some right? game. Yeah. yeah. You give them some tips because it's all the That's approach. Like first, first impressions really do matter. I got you. So yeah. That.
Fellas, have some respect. Well, again, Yans, I want to thank you for coming on. Um, go ahead and shout out your IG and your YouTube. Anything else you want to shout out so people can follow you? All right, so my YouTube, you can look up Yamila Nguyen. And then Instagram is Yamila N underscore. Yeah. Bad. Make sure you subscribe to her. Make sure you follow her. Make sure you follow me as well. And um, thank you guys for tuning in. And until next time, peace.